You've received the news you didn't expect. You've been diagnosed with a brain tumor. For many, this means that time is of the essence. But it's also important to make sure you're able to work with your medical team to get you the answers that you need in order to make the best decisions for your care. I'm Steven from National Brain Tumor Society, and here are the 10 questions to ask your doctor about your brain tumor. Number one, how many patients have they seen with this type of tumor? Because there are more than 130 different types, each category of brain tumors are technically considered their own rare disease. This means that you should ensure your doctor has had experience dealing with your specific tumor type, or if they haven't, if they know of a doctor in your area that they could refer you to. Asking this question immediately puts it up front. You're looking for the best possible outcome and someone with experience in treating your brain tumor. Number two, what are my treatment options? While organizations like NBTS, the National Cancer Institute, and others provide information on the standard of care for brain tumors, you are not a number. Your tumor type, its location within your brain, your own medical history, they all provide a unique context for your doctor. By knowing this history and your own treatment goals, this is gonna help your doctor determine the right treatment plan for you. Number three, what are the risks and benefits of each treatment option? Radiation, chemotherapy, surgery, medical devices, and novel treatments, including clinical trials, are all available to brain tumor patients depending on their individual diagnoses. But each option has its own pros, cons, and potential side effects. Getting better and maintaining as much of your life is often as important as just surviving the diagnosis itself. Weighing the risks and rewards will help you make the decision on what treatments you should undergo. Number four, do I qualify for any available clinical trials? Does that include trials outside of this institution? Clinical trials are necessary to develop new treatments for almost all diseases, and they can also be opportunities for you to access the most cutting edge and emerging treatments. Often, experimental types of new drugs or procedures are combined with the standard care options for your tumor to see if they can extend or improve your life. Asking your doctor if you are a candidate for a clinical trial can be an important step, not only for you in the short term, but for the future of brain tumor treatments. Number five, will my treatment impact my ability to enroll in clinical trials in the future? This is an important question. In certain circumstances, clinical trial options may be limited to patients who have or have not already undergone specific treatments. Check to make sure you understand the implications for every treatment option you explore. Taking a long view past the immediate treatment is a good way to make sure that you're making the decisions that don't limit your future options. Number six, what should my care partner or loved ones expect? Brain tumors not only affect patients, but their families and friends. Some changes in behavior, energy levels, and abilities can be expected. Your medical team will be able to tell you and your loved ones what to expect post-surgery and during treatment. Number seven, how can I maintain a high quality of life? Surviving a brain tumor is the obvious goal, but making sure that you have the best possible life is also a priority, and there are options to assist in symptom management. Asking your doctor what can be done to keep a high quality of life helps you plan for the long term, which gives you a goal past living through the next round of chemotherapy or radiation. Having steps to take toward a future provides you with more control over your own outlook and care. Number eight, when should I call for immediate help? Side effects or other difficulties are serious, but it's also important to know what signs your doctor is most concerned with that should prompt you to call them directly for assistance. An experienced cancer care doctor will let you know what to expect and what to keep a careful eye on to avoid any emergency. Number nine, do you know of any support groups in the area that I can attend? While your doctor is likely empathetic to your diagnosis and will work to help you, sometimes it's best to get support from others who are going through similar things that you are. A local support group of other brain tumor patients and survivors can help you process the feelings you're having with people who actually know what you're going through. Number 10. What is my plan for long-term follow-up care and appointments? A brain tumor diagnosis often requires a wide breadth of specialty care with specific instructions, not to mention the host of ongoing appointments and checkups. To help from being overwhelmed, it's good to know what will be recommended and required for your long-term care. Regular scans, medication, and physical therapy may be just some of the things that they'll be scheduling for you. And having a clear picture of that future makes it easier to manage and plan for what is definitely one of the most stressful periods of your life. Together, you and your medical team should be shooting for what lies ahead for you and your family. 
For more information on how to work with your doctor and team to make sure you're getting the care that works best for you, go to braintumor.org slash the experience. 